Indeed, sir. <laughs> That's funny. She usually gets rid of her boyfriends in a couple of days at the most. I wonder who he is. Well, I, I hope that you'll pardon me, sir, but as your confidential secretary, I've discovered that his name is Jimmy Kelton and he's a clerk at the town house. A clerk? Does he come of nice people? Well, he's a very mysterious sort of person, if I may say so. Hmm. Maybe a fortune hunter. Or even, even a gigolo. A gigolo? Mm. My goodness, it would be terrible if she married one of those. Why don't you investigate him yourself? That's a bright idea, Dad. Uh, a clerk at the townhouse. Hmm. This is operator 334. I'm still playing clerk at the townhouse. Part of the gang are here. They're waiting for the jewels. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Excuse me, but would you care to make five hundred dollars? What? You all right? Sure. You all right? Sure. Where can we talk confidentially? In the basement. Mr. Kelton. How do you do? Uh, I'm the new porter. Well? You see, my cousin Joe here. Uh, where? Well, uh, you see, Joe uh, and his, wa his wife's got to go. Uh, that, uh, you see, Joe and, and his wife, both of them together, they're going on a little vacation. I'm just taking his place for a couple of weeks. Well, that's all right with me. That's good. Mr. Kelton. The boss is waiting for you on the phone. All right. 
Goodbye. Do you want to lose your job? Oh, oh, no, sir, no, sir. Well, then get busy. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, I'll get you, sir. No, no, I don't want you to take it. Well, I don't want to either, but I don't want to get fired. I, I, I got it. I got it. That represents a lot of money. Yes, indeed. You see, we're jewelry salesmen. Oh, I see. You know, there's something phony about that bird. You think so? There you are. There you uh, are, sir. Thanks. That's quite all right. Now then, I wish you'd take care of everything and just see that... Uh, oh, I take care of everything. Just see that we're not disturbed, will you? Oh, sure. You know, well, once there was... That's a... quite all right. What? Yes, sir, that's quite all right. Nice flowers. How do you do? Burning something. Oh. Ah. Something's on fire. Oh, oh. 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 What's going on here? Uh, ah! another stunt like this and you're fired. You're the dumbest porter we've ever had around this place. Now put that thing out and clean up. I'm a dumb porter, eh? Well, maybe I'll find out something about you before I leave here. Now, get out of here. You're through. You bet your life I'm through. Do you realize who I... Uh, uh, now, listen. Uh, you wouldn't fire a poor fellow with six wives and a kid. Uh, one wife and six children. What do you want to do? Break up my home altogether? Well, now, you said everything I said. Why, I wouldn't think of letting you leave. You stay right here. Make yes. Porter is one of the crooks. Are you sure? Positive. Porters don't wear diamonds that big. Chief Burden speaking. This is operator 334. Yes, yes. I think they're all here now. Get some men over here. That's fine. Yeah, get the gang together and we'll grab the jewels. Okay. Jewels. He wanted to marry my daughter. That dirty crook thing. Oh, uh, I don't blame you for being scared. There's a dirty crook in his gang coming to steal your jewelry. What? Sure. Uh, well, I'll call the police. No, 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 no please. No, they never get here in time. No. 
You can help us if you will. Anything you say. Come on, let's get these jewels in the bag. Yeah, get them in the bag. Get them in the bag, boys. We've got to get out of here in the park. Wait a minute, will you please? I said in the bag. In the bag. In the bag. Absolutely. There you are. Here, you take that because they don't know you. You get out of here as fast as you can. We'll meet you in the corner drugstore in five minutes. I'll be there. Get going. Now be careful. Take this bird off to jail with him. To jail? Oh! Oh, my, oh, my. If they find out who I am and my name gets in the papers, I'd be disgraced. Shut up and go to sleep. Okay. Does uh, one sleep with one's clothes on here? One can sleep naked if one wants to. John Smith! Here! 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 Right here! 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 Did you call John Smith? Yeah. That's my name. John Smith. That's me. Am I out? Yeah, you're out. Out of luck. <laughs> oh! Is this where they line up the prisoners? Yeah, this is the police show up. Come on, find out. Get in there. Oh! That's the man! What's the matter, lady? Oh, the man with the whiskers! Take the rest of them away and hold whiskers there. Whiskers? Leave me go. What did he do? Why, he was dressed as a woman with a knitting bag and he held me up in the alley. Oh. Him up. I never held no one up in an alley or any place. Oh. Maybe he did. That bozo looks like he might do most anything. Start your knitting. I never knitted a stitch in all my life. Does that look like him? Well, I'm not positive. Oh, I'm sure I could identify him if he were only on a horse. Fix him up. A horse? Come on. Well, uh... By the way, officer, it was a black horse. Oh, no, honey. It was a black horse with yellow spots. No, it was a black horse with white spots. Oh, Make no, up your minds, not... folks. Are you sure it was a horse? <laughs> Say, I think that's the roller skating bandit. He wore a checkered cap. Well, we'll soon find out. Not bad I stole a baby's milk bottle, too, didn't I, lady? Getting saucy, huh? You bet your life I am. I've had enough of this. Call the mayor. Sure, we'll call the president. Sure, sure. call. Uh, 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 I know it. Up, up, we did it. Up, we did it. doing here, Andy Wilson? Uh, shh, shh. My name's John Smith. What? I'll explain everything later. Jailer, release this man to me. Yes, sir. Right, sir. Oh, boy, am I happy to see you. Not only that, 
but he kicked me right on the seat of the pants. No. Yes. Right there. Oh. Uh. oh. You know, I'm just dying to meet your father. Now, I hope he likes me. Like you? Why, well, he'd be crazy about you. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I shouldn't think that you would feel very kindly disposed toward the young man after such embarrassment. Oh, sure, sure. It was all my own fault. I went there snooping in the young man who was only doing his duty. No. <laughs> He's a fine boy. Oh, what a son-in-law I'm going to have. Oh, oh, oh sir. Uh, Here they come now. Uh, oh, uh, I want to be alone. Uh, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> Daddy, are you asleep? What is it, Betty? I want you to meet Jimmy. He has something to say to you. How do you do? Mr. Wilson, I, I've never had the pleasure of your acquaintance. And why do you think it's going to be a pleasure? Well, I've been looking forward to it, sir, because I want to marry your daughter. Oh, <clears throat> what makes you think you're eligible? Oh, you'll be proud to have me for a son-in-law. Why, you've no idea what I did last night. Oh, yes, I have. Oh, oh, you've read the paper. I didn't have to read the papers. Huh? Uh, well, I suppose if Betty loves you and wants to marry you, I'll have to say yes. <laughs> and now, my boy, get ready for the big surprise. Hello, uh... Wait, no, huh? Oh, Jimmy, what'd he say? Everything's all right. <laughs> Why, what's the matter? Don't move, Betty. There's a dangerous criminal in the garden. Be careful, Jimmy. What are you doing here? Oh, stick him up. I'm sorry, Mr. Wilson. Sh sorry. You ought to... Now, Daddy. Well, say, would you take this young man away on a honeymoon to Asia, Africa, uh, maybe the North Pole, just anywhere so he's away from me for a little while? Will I? Honeymoon tickets. A check. Uh, Have a good time, kids. <laughs> 